Hey everybody, I want to share a quick story with you. In case you're new here, I'm Jonathan Noble, divorce and family law attorney. Welcome to the channel. You know, uh, as a divorce lawyer, I really get into the nitty gritty of what's going on in people's lives and why they're breaking up. And I want to share a quick story with you. Uh, on February 5th, Sunday, New York Times, I know a lot of people hate the New York Times, but I was reading this section, Social Cues, and a woman's describing that she's trying to convince her daughter to invest in an, a, a, uh, an investment. She, the mother thinks that the investment is a good idea, but the daughter won't do it because she really doesn't understand the investment. So for the purposes of this video, let's say hypothetically it was offshore gas leases. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty complicated investment. So the daughter said, no, Ma, I don't want to do it. It's, it's not something that I understand and I don't want to invest. So in the article or in the question in the social cues uh, section, the mother goes on to explain that she asked her, her husband right before they got married many years ago to make the same investment and he didn't do it. And she explains how she's regretted him not doing it ever since. Hmm. Okay. So then of course their marriage probably went down the tubes. Uh, and now I'm here to tell you that I've seen many, many divorce cases where the wife will tell the husband or, you know, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And he doesn't really understand the investment, but he doesn't make the investment. And the wife for years will regret it. And she brings it up at every opportunity. If you just did what I told you to do in 1974, we'd be millionaires by now. Or if you just took that job instead of the other one where you wanted to be an entrepreneur, or if you just fill in the blank, they just drive the guy crazy. And, um, you know, it's just cheaper to keep her at that point a lot of times. And, but sometimes it becomes untenable. So what's the point of the video? You better make sure before you get married that you're not marrying someone with an I told you so attitude. Because there's going to come a time when you're just not going to be able to handle it anymore. It's brutal. I've seen guy, extremely successful guys just come in and they're like, I can't take this anymore. I can do no right. And she will not let go of something that she told me she wanted me to do that I opted to go in another direction. Maybe it didn't make as much as she thought it might, but... I was still able to sleep at night. So the point of the video, be careful who you partner with, especially who you marry. Because in this case, in this uh, social cues section, the wife regretted something for many years and probably made the guy just punish them, beat him into the ground over it. All right. The other thing is, if you're a young guy and you're an entrepreneur, which I highly recommend, um, you don't need somebody... Uh, chirping at you. All right. That's the last thing you need. That's like going to really hold you up. Now, if you can find somebody that is going to put wind in your sails and who believes in you and loves you, that's different. But those folks are rare. Uh, so just a word to the wise. I've seen too many divorces happen where someone will hold a grudge against uh, the other person, usually the wife against something she's told the husband to do, and her brother-in-law told him to do it, and he wouldn't do it. And the next thing you know, it doesn't end well. Share this with somebody getting chirped, all right? Be careful out there.